Greetings, you people, and hello, my king. How is it going, and how has it been? This is Boreal Stone, bringing you more Hand of Fate, the game I am not done playing, because I'm not done playing the damn game, because the game is too much fun. We are going to continue on where we left off, which is Giants namely, again, even more difficult from here. trying to kill the Queen of Plague. We have met her twice, died twice. Gods are not in our favor currently, but we're going to try it once more. Queen of Plague. I do have the ability to get a cleaver, a rat cleaver, if that even remotely sounds appetizing at all, but I have the ability to get that in this particular run, and if I do get that in this run, I will indeed use it on the Queen of Plague. She waits for you. Patient, but ultimately destructive. Yes. Um, let's go into our encounters, and in our encounters, we do have the ability to switch out a couple of things. There's a blood auction in there. But you know, again, risk and reward. I feel like I should try that out. Now, there is something else that I wanted to grab, and it's going to be called the Surprise Portal. And the reason I want to do the Surprise Portal is because it'll get me to the end faster. And if I can get to the end faster, before I take a shit ton of damage, I would, I would gladly take it. That said, I do not need the ability to get cursed before I take that portal. Look at these, rat men hunting. Let's get those out of there. We do not have to worry about those anymore because we were able to pay the piper and the rat men are now gone outside of that. Now, hero remains. That's the one I do not want. I do not want the ability to get that and then get cursed. That sounds horrible. We're not going to do that. We are instead going to go for something a little bit more interesting. In my opinion, the local peasant might sound pretty good. As long as I don't get hit by a, a, a mob. Never underestimate the power of really dumb people in large groups. Mm. Charity? Charity? Let's go charity as well. I might end up having a bit of food left over, and if I do, I will give it to them. Especially if I'm able to slip through the portal and get to the end faster, as I mentioned beforehand. That is my plan. Um, I can also put in... You know, the ambush is actually quite easy for me to do. I can do the ambush, and I will do... I will do... Helpful priest? Absolutely. I'm trying to think. Although, if I got Mr. Lionel, I can actually get a shield and then I can sell that shield. Twisted Canyon also gives me a chance at a better weapon. Goblins, I don't really want the goblins. Maze of Traps. Maze of Traps, actually, you know what? Let's take that instead. We're going to take that instead of the ambush. Where is it? There it is. We're going to take the Maze of Traps instead because at the end of the Maze of Traps, at least, is some treasure. And I think that's going to do it. So let's go back over to our equipment. Now, in our equipment, we do have the... Ah, there it is, Rat Cleaver. I want to throw that in for sure. And then I'm going to take out instead... Um, what? What don't I need? Undead Bane. I do not need that, currently. Everything else is kind of good. Undead Bane is not exactly what I need for this particular run. And I'm going to keep it like that. If I can get that Rat Cleaver early on, I will be, I will be singing. I will be absolutely singing. So back to that. And Queen of Plague. Let's start the game. And... We're ready to go. Mmm, listen to that guitar. Cursed Gamblers, man. I hate that card. I hate it so very much. So very annoying. Alright, so... Your currency so. spent. Your memories tattered and torn. Formed into mere cards for us to play with. That sounds very, very eerie when you say it. Let's do it this way. Helpful priest, alright. We're starting off good, right? Right. Okay, you mean a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. Hello, sir! Slip me some skin, daddy Oh, That's what he was saying, indeed. Uh, give the priest half your food. Eh? For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name... You know what? Right now, let's take that blessing. Huge success for the... Okay, can we get a key? A choice. I have no idea Select where it went. Your desire. Although I do know that that's not it. So it's going to be one of these three. So it's going to be the middle one. Shit, it was actually the one on the end. Hmm... He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw one blessing card. I'm guessing I would have got like two the blessings. gods look upon you favorably. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, then it pops out five gold, which the player may collect. Really? Gold? For me? Devil's Carnival. At its heart, these traveling shows are but mockeries of the true mysteries. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that this was hard the last time I went through. There's a lot of stages to this card. One day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored. Take your time if you like. I've waited long enough. But are 
Now faded and stained with dust, peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazements seeming almost dazed. There is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest. Forget even the path that brought you to this place. Continue. Alright. We have 50-50 chance for this to go well, and, and I uh, got shifted. It got shifted. I'm, I'm thinking it's this one. Yes! Hoo Cheers and grass. Gasps, grasps. Gasps. Cheers and woos draw you to a large tent. Inside, you discover a large number of spectacles being performed by costumed artists. Alright, let's large success it again. Oh, that one I could not follow. Unless, of course, it's this one, but you can't really tell because... You know what? I'm going to go for this anyway. Success. We're okay. Still, we're okay. That one I had no clue on. Um, draw one equipment card. Great! It's often hard to determine the provenance of an artifact, but this cleaver was clearly forged after the first invasion. Oh, man. As pleases you. I'm so glad I got that. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest, the sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. So it was all majestical. So that token, I can only get if I get two huge successes. That is unfortunate. Holy Forge, which, of course, I can't use. Again, a token is at stake. Yep. That's all I can do. I can listen to his story again and then leave because I do not have the ore. That was a shame. Ah. All right, so what do we have? The maiden. And the Shady Forest, and she can give me food. I think food is probably... has to be blessed, but I'm only at four food. By the time I get back to the... No, I have to... I have to ask for food. Ask for supplies. Give me blue food, please. Two food gain cards. Nice! What? I'm sure you are grateful for that. Absolutely. I am not wanting for food currently. Let's turn around. Continue on our way back. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. That's Some very good. You'll wish you'd left untouched. <laughs> and there we go to the end. That's a lot of food to get back to that particular side. Cave mouth. We're going spelunking. The next step of your journey takes you from a cave. No, oh, actually, we're leaving the cave. Out to the feet of an imposing forest. Exit the cave. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. Mm -hmm. Achievement unlocked, Squire. What does that mean? I got an achievement, though. I'm okay with that. Curse Gambler. You frig. I'd be nice today. I'm, I'm not saying curse words. Or have I already said curse words? I don't even know. I'm really bad at this. In an old tavern at the edge of the dark forest, you meet a gambler. Except, because he's going to take my food if I don't, so he grins diabolically as I sit down, and we're going to do this, and it's going to be amazing. There it is. I see the card that I want. Let's... Ah, uh, shit. You know, it's this one again. Bam! <laughs> All right. Equipment card. Healer's ring. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I, I automatically put that on, correct? I'll have that on. Right? Yes, I do have it on. Greatness was met out this day. Another one. Another cursed gambler. Shit. Can I, get, can I do this twice in a row? I don't know. My eyes. My eyes, man. In an old tavern, I find another bastard who's willing to curse me for money. Uh, he grins diabolically, sit down, and we're gonna play again. Let's do it! It's actually this one. Bang! Shit! Mm, I thought I had that one. <laughs> you play poorly. And I get to do what? Splinter Jewels or Dealer's Spite? What does that mean? Whenever the player selects a huge I success hope chance card. The curse that ends your quest. Oh, I'll take the Dealer's Spite. Absolutely. I, I, yeah, whatever. What, what are my chances of getting a huge success anywhere in this? It's not very good, so whatever. Um, we're going to decline. And uh, shame. And we're going to move on. So, a local peasant who looks very, very hungry angry. Mouths. War cross. leaves nothing else. War leaves nothing but hungry mouths. I get that. Crossing the forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman in the forest behind her. You sense movement. Give the woman one food, five food. Um, tell her you have no food. Ah, jeebus. I'm going to be attacked if I, if, I, if I don't give something. I have to give something. I'm going to give the middle ground. Middle ground. I'll give you something. The woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some of her children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. Okay, so it was just children. Oh, God. I was thinking it was going to be a mob. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. Very good, I can just leave this place. I could go to the shop, which I don't have any gold, or I can just leave. And I can save... Actually, I only paid one food for that. Technically speaking, because I was going to go to the left. And instead, we're going to go to the right, we're going to leave. Very good, ladder escape. 
To continue forward, you must descend down a ladder into an unknown. Well, we'll go down the ladder. Let's go. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. I am ready for this. Once, many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. Mm. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else but their problems. With any other issue than the thing on their mind today. Is that what you're doing now? Ooh, maybe. <laughs> oh, I just like it so much. Um, call for the priest. Mm, let's see, in a shady grove off the beaten trail. Uh, do I want to go in? I don't actually have any gold, so I'm going to leave him alone. Bye-bye, priest. Let's go in here. I needed some gold, though, so I could buy some poor food. I'm down to four food. That's not exactly great. Treasure chest. Let's make our way into the loot and grab the loot and run. While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of the hall. Approach the treasure chest, which is going to be fine. We have a 50-50 chance, and we're awesome. Right, right. <laughs> They're awesome. Oh, shit. It's going to be one of these. There we go. I go back for that one. Um, The hall is silent as you move forward, and you approach the treasure chest, which is going to do what? It looks badgered, but still intact. We are going to pry it open, and it's going to be fine. We have a 75% chance to do so. Proper like. Oh, these options. shit. I saw the top card, but then the top card got shifted back in. And the top card went to one of these two. So I'm going to go for that one. There we go. Woo! Alright. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. What did we get? Four game cards. Damn! 30 gold. There we go. I can buy food now. 10 gold. I can certainly buy food. 25 gold! I have enough money to buy food and then some. Wow, I'm, da I'm up to 90 gold now. Now, here's the thing. Do I go back to the priest and waste a turn, or do I... You know, I probably should get the food now. Maybe. Ah, uh, I have moves to go. Metal ore, which is not going to help me right now. I do wonder how much time you spend simply chasing down blind alleys. Hmm. You notice the dark ravine beneath you. I, I don't need the metal ore. I'm already, I've already lost it. Uh, so ignore it. Whatever. We continue on our way. Let's go down this way. Curse gambler, I missed short. it. This does not bode well. Okay. I am not going back for the priest. I'm just leaving. And I miss the cursed gambler. I'm actually okay with that. Forest escape. I've got two food. Work your way I'm going to be lucky enough, right? And we'll see lucky. what lies beyond. I probably made a big mistake now, but maybe not. Maybe we're fine. <laughs> Forest path. Let's go. I'm the adventurer here. Look at that. I got another. I got another card achievement. is unveiled as each new concept is explored. That we learn something about ourselves, or something about you, at least. Well, something about me for sure. I'm a gambler. Not a cursed gambler, though. Lost in the desert. Shit. It's almost amusing to think of being lost. Looking at the world like this. Your destination is merely a step onto another card. Wow. Wander aimlessly or pray to the old gods. Do I want to pray to the gods? Last time I prayed to the... No, actually. <laughs> I blasphemed the gods last time. Maybe I could pray for forgiveness. Oh, shit. Now, this is what I get for trying to be nice to the gods. However, I know which card it isn't. It's not that one, so it's going to be one of these two. Let's go for that one. Shit, it was the other one. Ah! Your prayers go unanswered, and you are shot by an arrow. Looking up, you see bandits approaching. Approaching. Okay, two monster cards and a health pain card. Oh, damn it. Mages and plague. I got a cleaver, though. That's excellent. The pain card he's going for. Is he going to find it? There it is. 15 health. So I'm going to start with 15 huh. health less. Prepare for combat. I'm going to go for the plague first because, well, I have the ability to kill them easier with my cleaver, as it were. Prepare for combat. Alright. Let's move out! Well, you know what? Since you're here. Oh, that block. Kill you! Mm. There we go. I'm standing inside of their filth and I'm taking damage for it. Nope, that dodge, dodge, dodge. There it is. There we go. Come here, you stupid priest. Not priest, mage, whatever the hell you are. Foul mage. Missed me, sir. <laughs> Ow. I stepped into it anyway. Let that go away. And you are going to die. Absolutely. I don't want something like combat. I lost a little help, but that was mostly because <laughs> I stood in their filth. The rat filth. The plague. It's taking damage over time. 
That was my own fault. You salvage what you can and make your way to the desert. Mm, through the desert, the dealer draws you two gain cards. And that's going to be... Come on, give me some health, please. Health, 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 health. 25 health. All right, almost back to full. Extra health. Also, I should probably... only a momentary respite. I got health and food. That was super awesome. Old graveyard. Are you afraid of the grave? Um, not really. No. What irony. Mm, we're all star stuff. <laughs> Wait, did I not go... Whatever. I don't know what I did not do, but I did not do what I wanted to do, and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep on going. I am going to check this place out. Why? Because I am going to, well, buy some food. I've only got two currently right now. I gained a little food in that last fight, and I need more food to make it through this adventure un uh, abated. There we go. Let's go to buy food. What can I buy? I can buy five at a time? Absolutely. For 18? I'm okay with that. There we go. And I've got 12, and I think probably I can just... Well, heal wounds, I don't have to. Remove curses. Now that's something. Dealer's Spite. I can get rid of that. How much does it... Not that it matters. It costs a lot to get rid of something that I don't think is actually going to matter. Although I can't get rid of the negative aura. Oh, whenever I lose a curse... I lose a random item. Oh, I'm so glad I read that. Not only was it a bad idea because it was going to cost more gold than I think it was worth, but I was going to lose an item too. Damn. Uh, instead, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy more food. Absolutely. Right now. I do not have food woes. Yes, I'm ready to leave the shop. Hmm. As long as I don't have to worry about food, that's one thing off my list of, wor of worry and uh, I feel a lot better. So what do we have here? Oh, this is the way out. The Crucible. The Royal Treasury. Ooh, I'm almost considering going to the royal treasury the stairs deeper towards our foe turn back yes i want to check out the royal treasury there it is it's a new card so we don't even know what it does glinting from here all right in the depths of the deepest cave in the remote wilderness you stumble upon the old king's fable treasure chamber legend claims that it's filled with treasure collected over a hundred years but guarded by a plethora of Lethal spells and traps. Only the bravest or most foolish would enter. Well, I'm kind of both. Um, attempt to reach the treasure. Let's do it. Oh, no. All right. Can we hear keep? That was on the second there. I, it's right here. Bam. Got you, sucker. Shit. 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 Blades in all directions. Cut your ribbons. You manage to drag your broken body back to the entrance where you rest for several days trying to heal. Holy shit. That hurts. Although, I'm resting for several days. That's what happened. Alright, we're going to the stairs. We're not trying that one again. I'm hoping this was the end. Um, no. Another floor awaits. Oh, I know this. I know this. I don't smell that smell. That, 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 that plague smell of that queen. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. I am really badly hurt. Wait. Even now, her brood gathers. I'm down to 34 max? Why is it right before I do exceptionally well on this run, trying to get to the Plague Queen, I make some of the dumbest mistakes? That was dumb. I couldn't, well, I say it was a dumb mistake. Well, it was a mistake. I didn't know what that card was going to do. That card, that card probably lost me this game. Probably just lost me the game. Stranger in the Shadows, I cannot give you anything. Sorry, man. Decline. I cannot give you any blood. Nothing, in fact. A winding trail, which means I'm going to fight something. These trails wind, and our goals wind with them. All My right. voice and these words draw us closer to the inevitable conclusion. The inevitable conclusion of what? My death? Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Give them all your gold. Um, I am going to give them my gold. I'm not going to need it for anything, I don't think. I don't want to lose any more health because my very next card could be the Queen of Plague, and I do not want to take any damage for that. I'm going to give them my gold. I spill the contents, they take it, and that's that's just it. How about this? Traveling Tinker! Hmm, I'm just gonna have to leave you alone because we don't have any gold, do we? Nope. Continue on our journey. What are the odds that it's over here? Over here. I'm gonna go here. Traveling Mage. Again, no money to give you. Pass it by. Oh god, it's gonna be the one right there in the top left corner. It's gonna be the one in the top left corner. I just know it. Queen of Plague! No! Alright! You know she has waited for this. Okay. Now, see, I am going. Let's do it. Let us stake a token on their mm. foolishness. All right, Queen Rats have great skill with the spears and accompanied by a totem that spreads their toxic, damaging filth. Can I survive it this time? 
I've got the most health that I've ever had while trying to face her, which is not saying that I have a lot. Oh my god. Oh. Oh what? No, I can't dodge that. Oh, I, I can't. I can't reflect that. Holy shit, man! Woo! No, get out of it. I'm being. I'm being damaged. No. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. Run out of it. Oh man! Look out! Woo! All right, all right, all right. These bastards! Reflecting! Get out of it, get out of it, get out of it, get out of it! No! That was dead. That was dead too! Blocking! Look out, 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 look out. Come here, you queen of filth! Can I get out of it? Did I win? No way. Did I actually win? No, I have to get rid of that. I have to get rid of that totem of nasty. Don't die to that totem of nasty. Unless, of course, I can just... Nope, I have to kill it. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm gonna take damage from it. That's my issue right now. And he's still... Yeah, I do take damage from it. Shit! Alright. I win. <laughs> yes! Victory is mine! Finally! Oh! Give me that, I want it. Ugh. Queen of Plague, that kind will not easily recover from this loss. A million half-orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. <laughs> and Why do you care. still play? Why can't you walk away? Oh, I can't walk away because this game is perfect for me. Alright, so here we go. As a reward for defeating my Ratman Queen, you receive... Thunder Strike! It's a mace of awesome power, I would take it. Um, heavy armor, that's nice. Emperor's Jewel, now what does that do? We have to find out, aren't we? King of Skulls! Shop! What, another shop card? Whatever, I guess I can go for that. Fire in the Deep! That sounds fun. Also, it's locked into my inventory. It's gonna be locked in. So, King of Skulls, I'm gonna have to deal with next. And then the Fire in the Deep. We have actually have finally defeated it. You. And he says he has only begun to challenge me. Well, things are going to get stupid difficult from here on out. It's already been stupid difficult. <laughs> but I won that one. I'm happy. If there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. And I will see you again later. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Wherever you are in the world, this is Mariah Stone. Signing out.